Hi, let's talk about the biliary tree. In this video, we'll discuss the biliary tree and the movement of bile between the liver and gallbladder to the duodenum. The biliary tree, also known as the biliary tract, is the entirety of the pathways between the bile canaliculi of the liver, which feed into various intrahepatic ducts, the gallbladder and its cystic duct, and all of the pathways down to the major duodenal papilla of the second part of the duodenum. So let's take a look at, uh, at how bile is conducted. So bile canaliculi feed into intrahepatic ducts. The intrahepatic ducts are going to coalesce into left and right hepatic ducts. Where the left and the right hepatic ducts come together is the common hepatic duct. The common hepatic duct is going to meet the cystic duct. That cystic duct is going to have bidirectional movement of bile between the common hepatic duct and the gallbladder. This biliary tree is represented as green because you will see it in your donors, typically as green, uh, because bile, in particular because of the pigment biliverdin, has a green hue to it. So biliverdin is the oxidated form of bilirubin, which is the other bile pigment. Um, <clears throat> the gallbladder will store bile, so it's a sac that stores bile. And uh, where the cystic duct and the common hepatic duct join is called the common bile duct. Very frequently simply referred to as the bile duct. So if you hear bile duct, think of it as the common bile duct. Same, same difference. The common bile duct is going to um, come together with the main pancreatic duct, typically. And there is an expansion here of these two, known as the hepatic pedopancreatic ampulla. That hepatopancreatic ampulla is going to feed into an eruption of mucosa within the second part of the duodenum. So we can see that here. This is the second or descending part of the duodenum. And bile and pancreatic juice are expelled through that major duodenal papilla. That major duodenal papilla is an important anatomical landmark. It is what differentiates the foregut from the midgut. So we've discussed the biliary tree. So bile canaliculi into intrahepatic ducts, into right or left hepatic ducts, into the common hepatic duct, which joins with the cystic duct to form the common bile duct, which joins with the pancreatic duct to form the hepatopancreatic ampulla, which then drains through the major duodenal papilla into the second part of the duodenum. This is your summary slide. Thank you for your time.